Hey Udemy instructors, it's Dennis with another Facebook tip. A lot of times I see in the Udemy Studio group where instructors might be wanting to follow a specific post, and so they type in the word follow or followed, such as in the example that I'm going to scroll down to here on this page. So you can see here where this um, individual has typed in the word followed because anytime someone posts a new comment, then Facebook is going to give them a notification up here to let them know that something new has been said. And there's a way that you can do that without typing the word followed. And I know a lot of times we see this when instructors will post coupons and coupons will uh, expire or run out. And so that individual will type in the word followed or following so that they can get notified maybe when the instructor releases new coupons. And sometimes that can get a bit um, annoying. So there's actually a better way for you to do that. And it's something that Facebook has had a while now. And there's a couple of things that you can do with this besides getting notified when somebody makes a new comment. You click on this down arrow in the upper right and you can actually save these for later if you want to come back. It's like bookmarking in a browser. This one currently says unsaved because I have it saved, but you can click on save and then it'll save it. And then you just go to your Facebook menu over here and up towards the top, there'll be an area I'll show you in just a minute where you can look at the previous items that you've saved. But to turn on notifications so you get notified anytime that somebody comments on a post, all you have to do is click right here. And then it says you'll get a notification whenever someone comments on this post. And if you get tired of it, then you can come back here and you can click and turn off the notifications again. So I'm going to go ahead and close that right there. And since I have we're done with that, let's go up here and I'll show you if you save an item. It's going to be right here in your Facebook menu, and it'll tell you how many items you've saved, and you can click on the link right here and go back and review those items. So this is just a couple of ways that you can use Facebook more effectively. Instead of typing in the word followed or follow, just remember, click on the down arrow, and you can turn on or turn off notifications on a specific post in the group. I hope this helps. Thanks.